gentlemen, we don't want to lose the dressing room. Remember, they my came hands all the time, protect themselves for all the time. Any questions over here? Questions over here? Touch gloves, step back, let's get started. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is, this is for the WKA US Amateur Bantamweight title, and it is five rounds of full rules Muay Thai. There is a tremendous crowd here having a great time for both fighters. Great energy in the room to cheer these two on as they go for the Amateur Bantamweight title. Ibrahim in the red gloves. Hussein in the blue. And as the old saying goes, styles make fights. We got two very different styles here. How would you classify uh, Hussein's style? Um, oh. oh. Beautiful throw. Well, Hussein, like you said, he's a little bit more of a, a less traditional fighter. Fights more at angles, doesn't adhere to the, uh, the common norms of Muay Thai. Um, we're for, you know, Ronnie's camp comes very much out of the Sutan strain, which is very traditional Thai. Um, but beautiful work nonetheless, and Abram is having no problem uprooting Abdel. Abraham really is showcasing great balance, great composure here in our first round. Abraham really capitalizing off of any time that Hussein is on a single leg. Nice elbows. Abraham unloading the elbows off of his left hand. Really, really good positioning Such there in the clinch. Just precise timing. Just surgical timing. Hussein's got a record of six and three. Ibrahim a record of 18 and six. And albeit that they are close to the same height, Abdel's leg length is definitely longer and it's not making a difference to Abraham. Once again, ladies and gentlemen. All right, heading into the second round. Um, Oh, they almost landed on us. Yep. <laughs> Ibrahim doing a good job of following and stalking yep. Hussein. And the ref actually uh, stopped Hussein from going down on that one. Matching elbows. Oh, nice dump oh, to the canvas by Hussein. No, it's really a, a amazing in, in the clinch where you just kind of use your opponent's leverage to drop them down. Showing the judges balance, execution, and control. You can see Rami clapping his hands in the corner, happy with Absolutely his fighter's his technique fight. thus far. Abraham. Always looking for the dominant hand position. You know, having your hand on the bicep or the elbow stops your opponent from being able to increase leverage. Increase leverage, but also get his hands in a position yep. that he'd like to have. And it also keep the body open for you. Nice boxing combination there by Usain. And another excellent uh, uh, round. Abdel comes in, he comes, his hands, you can see he's got space between his elbow and rib cage. And you can, you can put the kicks right in there. Sam trying to let his ha hands go. High volume and speed from both fighters here. A 
nice yep, switch like kick I there. Said. And the body is being opened up. Yep. Oh, beautiful teep. Oh, teep to the groin. It's going to give him some time here. As you, you know, Rami's yelling, take your time, take your time. And fighters are very anxious to get back in the fight. Sometimes they don't take enough time, you know. Visibly, visibly hurt. Yeah. You can see him kind of, you know, wincing and, and trying to get his composure here. He does have up to five minutes, and he should take as much time as he needs. We'll wait. As we're waiting, guys, hit us up on Instagram and Twitter and all that good stuff. We'd love to hear from you. And, and we are back in. Abdel needs to sit down and get a little more balance. Yeah, he, he, he is off balance, even though he has amazing hand, hand speed. <laughs> Ibrahim was really trying to punish Adele there. There's that body kick I was telling you about. Yeah, he's totally letting his legs go, Gavin. You are correct. Yup. Nice big, elbow. Big spin. elbows there. Huge elbow exchange. Nice spinning elbow. Oh, Beautiful uppercut right lands. Uppercut. Wow. Ibrahim was in the corner there. Ibrahim able to spin himself out in the corner. And that ends our third round. Probably going to come in here and he's going to see if he can capitalize with really changing his angles, going upstairs, downstairs. Looks like Hussein has a little bit more, you know, Beautiful flatter on his kick. feet, but he came in with a low kick. Oh, nice over, over, right elbow. Nice elbow. Reverse spinning elbow. His oh, reverse angles. spinning elbow, he, he wasn't, luckily, Hussein wasn't right on target. Jumped in with a jab there that lands. The ball tied up in the, in the clinch here. Rami calling for pressure. Oh, a head kick doesn't land flush, but definitely gets upstairs. You can see it. Ahmed, Ahmed's getting a little bit tired here. He's letting himself get cornered. He uses the teep to yep. just push Hussein away from him. Hussein right back in. I mean, Abdel has always been a very aggressive fighter. Yeah, you know, he, he may have lost the first few rounds, but he's not out of the game. He's not out not of this fight. He could be dangerous at any moment. That's why Whoa, Ibrahim. Woo! Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> this is where it goes for the belt. Great sportsmanship by both fighters. You know, in usual Thai boxing, it is never a violent fight. It is about the art. As you can see, ooh, spinning elbow there. Hussein still moving forward, still trying to let his hands go. Abraham coming with body kicks, elbows. 
Now, Ibrahim Skorner believes that they have Hussein hurt. And they want, they want Ibrahim to continue with body shots. Crowd's going crazy for Hussein here. And any shot that he throws, they're you know just just edging Home, him on. Hometown advantage. I've got it. I've got it. Ibrahim so far. Yeah, Abraham really yeah. able to land a lot more in his arsenal, but. Yeah. What a tough opponent Hussein is. He's, he's, he's never, ever looked like he wasn't in the fight. Oh. No, he hasn't backed up at all. He does seem perplexed, though. Not really sure what to do with Ibrahim. Well, for someone who fights a traditional style, he's really unorthodox to where he hits at so many different angles. Nice knees there landed by Hussein to end that round. And that's it. This that's is it. for the WKA Amateur Bantamweight title. How are the judges going to score it? Who's going to get the title? We will find out in just a few minutes. That's where Abdel is heading, you know. That's, uh... Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds of action here at the Broad Street Ballroom, we go to the judges' score totals. Judge A, 49-46. Judges B and C both score this bout 48-47. All three for your winner by unanimous decision. And the new WKA USA amateur bantamweight champion, Ahmad, the Palestinian golden boy, Ibrahim. And I'll say this right now. Abdel may not have won this belt, but there will be a belt in that kid's future. Yeah, I mean, he's obviously a very game fighter.